All right, Doc, how did it feel out there today? I felt great. You know, the will our uh, team of win, it felt real good, real good. Now, uh, you had a really big play there in the second quarter, uh, that 49 uh, yard, uh, basically a catch and run for you. Uh, can you walk me through that play and kind of what was going through your mind as you were barreling over defenders? Honestly, I zoned out. I just, I got the ball and I was like, man, I got to make a play. And then, you know, I got a field and just did what I, I don't know, I just did what I did, you know. <laughs> what was working uh, specifically for the uh, rushing game today? It seemed like you had a couple big runs for, for you guys. Um... Just being consistent, I guess, uh, trusting our, uh, our offensive line and things like that. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> I love you. Really appreciate it. I love you. Love you too, man. Uh, just being consistent, like I said, uh, having faith in the run game is what really, uh, I think, sparked us. Sacramento State, uh, coming into this last year, they surrendered about 290 yards to opponents. Uh, what specifically were you kind of looking for in, in the game plan, you know, coming into this that you kind of capitalized on? Um, just running the ball, you know. Uh, I've, I think they were like one of the worst in the conference with uh, rush, rush defense or something like that. So, uh, you know, just game plan was just try our best to run, uh, run the ball, you know, open up for the pass and things like that, but really just try to get a win. Do you feel like that play was able to settle your team down and sort of everybody like calm down after the, the opener here? You talking about my play? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that just gave everybody that energy to get, get going, like, uh, to really feel like, like, you know, we can win this, you know. So, I mean, it was good for me to uh, help our team get that spark. And then Paul also just brought this up, saying that, like, three years ago, maybe that start would have rattled you guys. At any point, did your mentality think you were not going to win this game? And has that changed throughout your time here? Uh, not at all. No. Nah, from, the, from the beginning, I had faith that we was going to win it, you know, and that we going to be <laughs> that we were gonna be consistent. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Sorry. It wasn't always pretty, but how nice is it just to get a win uh, in your first game? Uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty, but, yeah, it felt real good, you know. Uh, I mean, I felt first game jitter, stuff like that, but it felt real good to get that uh, win under us. Did you guys feel a little rust to start? Uh, yeah, maybe people, maybe somebody's a little nervous. We had some young guys in there that need to, uh, stepped up, but uh, maybe just, just a little bit. Uh, that I can trust them, you know. It, it was slow in the beginning, but I know I can trust those guys with anything, you know. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Matt, maybe not have been pretty, but you guys came away with the win today. What does that mean? I think that's uh, the most important thing, and regardless of what happens. You know, it wasn't our best game offensively, obviously, but, you know, last year we had the same problem, and uh, we figured it out towards the end of the year. So, um, you know, I'd rather be worried about this on August 31st than in November. So... Uh, I think we're going to get better as weeks go by. I think we're going to just watch the film tomorrow and get ready for UNLV next week. But, uh, you know, win's a win. We're just excited about that right now. Uh, I think earlier this week you told me the best uh, compliment to a passing game is a really good running game, and you got that tonight from uh, Duckworth specifically. Can you tell me what you saw from him that you really liked? Yeah, I mean, uh, Duck's a home run hitter. Uh, he's, you know, viable to make a play whenever he's on the field. Just get the ball in his hands, and we know what he can do, uh, especially on that catch and run that he had in the second quarter, I think. Uh, it was special just to watch him make turn a bad play into a good play. It was just, you know, nothing was going on, and I, I knew if I got the ball to Duck, he was going to make something happen. And he uh, He's great at doing that, and uh, he'll, he'll continue to get better as the year goes on. Kind of speaking on that same play, uh, you, you shook a defender and kind of scrambled to your right. Uh, were you thinking that was going to turn into a big play that it did and kind of energize your team? Absolutely not. I had no idea what was going to happen on that play. Uh, uh, one, we had a miscommunication on the left side. And uh, I kind of looked back over and, you know, Duck was supposed to be protecting me. But, you know, the rule is when he stops protecting you, we throw it to him. So uh, Duck just stopped, looked at me, and I just dumped it to him. And everything else, you know, happened from there. How important was that play in finally getting you guys going and getting that, that early rust off? Well, it was very important. Uh, obviously, you know, being able to, you know, have someone like that just sort of get, spark you, get things going for you. It was uh, – it was helpful, you know, for him to do that for our offense, and I think that really just got us going in the second quarter. We started to get a rhythm, um, you know, and uh, despite the turnovers at the end of the half, uh, we had a we had a pretty good rhythm going at the end of the uh, second quarter, right there. What were your thoughts on the offensive line? I know a lot of changes up there. You know, we're we're young in a lot of places, so we just gotta continue to improve there. We're gonna watch the tape tomorrow and, and get better. Uh, I think this next week of practice is a big week of practice for those guys. Um, you know, we're going to get back in game plan and, and really prepare for UNLV, and I think those guys are going to be a lot better next week. 
Do you feel like the mentality of this team is just night and day different from when you came into this program? You guys have such a sluggish start there in the first quarter, but all of a sudden one spark, it changes. The defense was kind of the backbone today. Yeah, uh, I think, you know, the mentality is, you know, last year we all about expect to win, so I think that mentality has stayed with us no matter uh, what we've done. And, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was important. It was really good to see the defense do what they did today because we know that they can be a really, really good defense. We've seen that in, in camp. So uh, being able to see them do what they did was impressive, and uh, we hope that they continue it throughout the year. As much difficulty as you had with uh, being protected, it looked like you got uh, pretty good protection when you had, uh, I think, Ruben singled up on that quarterback through that long touchdown. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely had great protection there. Uh, Duck had a really good block on that play. Another thing he did well today was pick up a lot of blocks and uh, helped our line out in that play. But, uh, yeah, we had good protection there on that play, and it was all I needed to do was make the throw, and Ruben went out there and made a play. Just from your perspective, how much of a load was 99? He looked like he was in your face all game. Uh, I, uh, you know, you know, I, I, I got hit a couple times, but he, uh, he definitely left some remember me shots <laughs> on me. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll give him that. But you know, at the end of the day, we came up with a W, and that's all that matters. Kaden, big day for the uh, Vandal defense. Though. What were you seeing out there? We were flying around. We were having fun. You know, we we're getting really excited, and that's something we've stressed. We want to. Uh, have 11 hats to the ball. We want to celebrate with each other and just get excited and let the passion flow. I think we did that today, um, excluding maybe one drive. We, we really did that. We were excited to play, which you should always be, but there was just an extra passion out there, and that's what we want every game. And I think that showed and how we played and how we rallied to the ball and how we got um, guys running to the ball. And um, I think it showed up in us dominating most of the game. Um, it's fun. It was awesome. The offense kind of started out slow. Uh, do you feel a little bit more pre? Uh, pressure on the defensive ends to kind of pick up the slack and keep it close? Honestly, no. You would kind of expect that, but um, I just, I think we all kind of knew that it was going to click, you know? And then Duck finally had that spark and it just, it went. And I think the defense, we expected um, to dominate. We expect, um, which it should be every game, but today we really expected to just um, be a really fast and awesome, uh, hard nosed unit. And so uh, I think the expectations were there and we just knew it was a matter of time. and. Um, again, Duck got going. Matt made an awesome move. Um, got the ball to Duck, and there we went. You guys uh, did really well in both uh, pass defense and run defense. Uh, you know, what things were you seeing out there uh, that you know kind of give you encouragement? Looking forward to next week against UNLV. We run to the ball again. I think that's kind of the biggest thing. Um, the biggest takeaway from today it was really awesome to see. We were we were flying. We were moving. We were excited. We were playing passionate together, and we were playing as a unit, a true unit. Um, we got guys rotating. We got um, some pressure on the quarterback. We can get some more. Um, I think one thing that was awesome to see was we had really good play recognition, at least in my mind, um, for kind of from a new team. It's kind of hard to watch film on a team uh, for the next following year when it's the first game of the year. But I feel like guys, the football IQ was there today, and it was really awesome to see guys jumping screens and hitches and um, just playing fast. It was really awesome. Whose performance kind of stood out to you today? <laughs> A couple guys, but I, I love Cade Coffey's performance today. That was awesome. Uh, there was the punt inside the five, another punt inside the 10, I believe. Um, made all his PATs. I know if we would have asked him to kick a field goal, he would have made it. And then even got a little dirty on that one, you know, where he kind of helped save a touchdown. Um, that was awesome to see him do today. And then, honestly, I was glad I wasn't uh, tackling Duck today because that man was moving, and he was dropping that shoulder. And I was just excited. It was awesome. It was a fun day. Uh, you guys have won six games in a row now, obviously, going back to last year. Does that success from last year carry over into a game like this where, you know, you do get off to a slow start? Yes, I believe it does. We really had confidence um, with each other and um, in each other and in ourselves. I just think, you know, confidence. It really uh, shows its way in how teams prepare, how teams play. And when adversity comes, if you're confident and you believe in yourselves, you're going to come through. Uh, your coach kind of mentioned how you guys um, – were confident the whole game. You believed in each other, believed in yourselves. You weren't going to lose. Where do you think that comes from on the sidelines? Who's kind of energizing that? There's a couple energizer bunnies on the sideline. Um, I think first off, it comes from the preparation we've put in, um, the confidence we have, again, coming from a, um, off our win streak and just believing in ourselves. But the preparation really helps with that. And then, um, I don't know, the coaches today were, were really awesome, really encouraging on the sidelines. Um, Lenny was up there jumping up and down on the sideline. Just, I don't know. It was just the whole sideline had a very live feel to it. I remember when I first got here, some of the games when things weren't going as we expected, it kind of just died down, you know? And it wasn't just us, it was the whole stadium, but 
today it was, even when things weren't going well, everybody was kind of upbeat. It was very um, positive, and I think that's uh, where that confidence came from.